welcome to my channel. Laura Trevo and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And well, today I'm going to be drawing the Wuzzles, Bungle Lion, and Muzo. And I'm going to draw them and color them with my Ohuhu markers. So I'm going to start off by drawing or sketching out uh, my characters with just a regular pencil. And of course, I had to draw it and erase it several times before I got the uh, actual picture that I wanted and that I was happy with. So yes, uh, I do write and erase a lot when I'm doing these. I know a lot of people don't like erasing, but I, I mean, it's necessary. To me, it is at least. And well, after drawing and erasing several times, Musul seems to start getting his shape. So here I am doing him one more time. And I'm actually going to draw him inside of a pool because he is half seal. He's half most half seal. So I decided to draw him inside of water. And well, I'm going to go in with my Micron pen for the outline. Ever since I discovered these pens, I've been using them. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's better stuff out there, but these work for me. So this is what I've been using. So now here I am erasing all the pencil marks. And yes, I went and I grabbed a couple of my Wuzzle books from my collection so that I can see exactly what colors I'm going to need since I'm going to start coloring already. So Bumble Lion obviously is a bumblebee and a lion. So I'm going to go ahead and use his colors, which are mainly orange yellow and pink for his hair and his tail so let's go ahead and use different tones of orange different tones of yellow and then we'll be using a little blue for his eyes and some red for his nose and a little bit of pink here and there
Okay, so now we're just going to work on Muzzle, and his tones are aqua, pinks, and violet purple. Okay, so now I'm going to be working on his belly and I'm going to do some blending with two tones of violet and purple and then I'm going to do the same with his tail and his antlers. I'm going to start off with a darker pinkish red and move in with a lighter pink. And since, since the colors are so bold in my characters, I decided to outline them in black just to make them pop more. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do this for both. And I decided to make his pool a bright fuchsia so it can kind of like balance out the color of the bumble lion. And now I'm going in with some blues, just blending everything out to make the water look with a various tones because of course water is not one color you know depending on how the light hits it so yeah i'm just like blending away and then i'm outlining bumble lion now it's his turn Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my white jelly roll pen for some details on the eyes and in the water. Okay, so now I'm going to be working with some pinks for the cotton candy. Of course, I lost a part of the video, but all I did was the bottom I did some green blending different tones of green and now i'm just going in with some yellow as well and i as i did with a gray and a blue so i'm just blending everything together as much as possible and i'm gonna i'm gonna go in now with a colleen color pencil and it's like in a light sky blue tone so yeah i'm just going in in the white parts just so that it's not completely white in those areas i didn't want to use any more marker on this because i actually kind of like the way it looks you know kind of like a watercolor just like messy all around <laughs> and well now i'm just gonna glue it back into my book Yeah, so I'm just gluing it on with a glue stick and then I'm going to go in and cover it all with tape just to protect my art. This is the final product. I love how it turned out. It does have a lot of color everywhere. I especially love the way the cotton candy looks. Um, you can barely see it because it's kind of folded into the page, but it's all curved in. But I really love how it looks and I love how the water looks. But yeah, I hope you all like this video. If you liked it, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And well, I know the background is not that great maybe but i personally like it. it it reminds me of watercolor even though it is marker and it's the ohuhu markers and maybe i could have done a better job <laughs> i i like the messiness because it you know it's it's supposed to be a cartoon so it's not supposed to be ni all nice and perfect i like it exactly the way it came out but yeah leave me your comments and i will talk to you next time bye